Hi, I'm Kara Dyer. Welcome to Topic Talk. And I'm Bobby. And we're with the Faulkner County Library. And today we have a scenario that we're going to talk about. Um, and here we go. Okay. It's very fun. So it's, it attention. is going to be fun. So um, you guys think about the people that you would have on your team. But um, you're in an airport in a different state or country. Doesn't matter. When all of a sudden the sky turns red and with fire and planes are falling out of the sky. The TV screen is full of chaos and you reach for your cell phone and you have no cell phone reception. Your family is at home and you're working desperately to get home to them. All right, as you look around the airport, people are running and screaming all over the place and you scout out the crowd to pick out your team to help you get home to your family. You can have one fictional character one, any person in the world that you that is real, a real person, you don't have to know them. And then two people that you know. These are, and counting yourself, these are the five people that are the four people that are gonna work with you to help you get home safely. Then we wanna know, why did you pick this group and what skills do they have that are gonna help you get home safely to your family? All right, Bobby, you wanna start? I'm going to start with my first person who is fictional, Batman. <laughs> World's greatest detective, best team leader that you can have, and I think Batman is prepared for everything, so Batman would be my first team. Got you. All right, well, my first fictional character would be Brian Mills, which is Liam Neeson's <laughs> character that on, on Taken. Okay. Yeah, he, uh, he he is he's got his he's got his skill set. I you think just he can. <laughs> I think I think he could totally get me home. But um, all right, who is your um, any real person? My you, real person would be Chuck Norris, the toughest old guy no, in the okay. world. Got you, got you. Is he still alive? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. yes. Okay, all right, fair enough. <laughs> I would scout the airport and I would look for a military person, um, whether they're a Marine or, yeah. So I would just scout out so and whoever, for, yeah, I would look for a Marine or, or someone high up in the military um, through the airport. I don't know them, but at that point I would know them and I would, it would be somebody real. That would be my. Or an assassin. If there's an assassin walking around there, I would choose you. They would have to have a assassin. <laughs> yes. um, but I'm just thinking if the world is falling apart, you know, there's probably going to be an assassin in the, in the airport. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but I don't know if they would advertise it. I don't know that they would either, but th maybe they would look like one and I would just pick them out. I don't know. Otherwise, okay. I'd pick a Marine. <laughs> so I'm going to use a cheat code. This is a person that we have to know, and I'm going to use my dad because he is an ex military and dead eye shot, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna make it with him. Okay. My dad. Okay, so you, you and your dad are gone on a trip somewhere. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah, with yeah. you. We're I'm in with, the airport together. We're in the airport together. <laughs> okay, all right, well, and that just kind of shot mine, because I'm saying that, I'm saying that if, if I was somewhere and my husband wasn't with me, then I would probably be with Jesse, um, Jesse Helms. Okay, Jesse, um, okay. Yeah, so, but, but, if I'm picking my my real my real team, then I would be with Brit Peoples because we would have gone to a con together, and and so yeah. So, so what what are they gonna add to the to your team? Oh oh okay okay so Brent have, he's like really buff strong and he he's very like um, so he has the muscle. Well, he has the muscle and he's very um, like focused. He's very focused and okay. like and I'm not always focused. So I think I think Brent would like say, "Shut up, Kara. We, you know, I've got a timeline." He would take control. Yeah, he was like, "I got a timeline. We gotta, we gotta go." So yeah, yeah, yeah. And what would Jesse? Uh... Oh wait, wait, not Jesse. Jesse's not. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. I let me. I will go back and, okay. and I'll we'll correct, talk about I'll correct that. my team later. Okay. Yeah. So that Brent Peoples is my one person that I know, and yours is your dad. Who's your second person? My second person would be a guy that I know from UAM. His name was Rob Leonard. He was a pastor, youth pastor there. Very focused guy. Very like team oriented guy. He would be the glue that hold everybody together because when you're upset or when you're upset, Rob will be the one that'll come to you and talk to you and make you see like, this is what we need to do. So he will be my glue guy, Rob. Got Leonard. you, got you. Okay, 
and my second person would be Theo Crane. And, and I and I got these because I went through my Facebook page and I was like and I was like who in who are my friends that I know that like are are like built could actually like whatever so when I ran across Brent Peoples, he's been working out, and I was like, okay, that's him. And then um, Theo Crane, same thing. He He's in movie roles all the time, yeah. so he's always working out and, and stuff. So I'm like, okay, these are the two the, the two strong friend people that, that I have. That you could Yeah, so, so like I have um, uh, Brian Mills, then I have a, a uh, military person, and then I have Brent Peoples and Theo Crane. I'm getting home. You're getting home. Yeah. I'm getting home. I feel like my dad, and I'm not bragging on him, but he's battle tested. He mm -hmm. worked a year in Iraq, and I feel like in combat zones, my dad is focused. He's ready. You know, he's gonna be that that second leader because no one's taking Batman's place. Well, understand? <laughs> understand? Yeah, I got you. I got you. But, but yeah, I feel like I'm getting home. Okay. I feel well, like I'm getting home. Here is now. Here is my re reality scenario. Okay. Okay. Um. If I was able to choose my team, this is actually the reality of what would actually happen. I would probably have Chevy Chase as as my <laughs> fictional character because my life is a National Lampoon's vacation. Okay. 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 I mean, so that would totally be our our leader of it would our be team. Funny. It yeah. Would. And any real any any person that I did not know would just be some random kid running through the airport. They would be. I would have to rescue them or something. I don't know. And they would just join the team. And they would just join the team. And then Jesse and Tharuna would be the two that are actually in the airport with me. So. Family, I love you, but I'm not coming home to you. Well, that would be, you know, just. Now, in the reality of my picks, though, number one, I'm not going to the airport. So, there would have to be somebody to drag me there. And that somebody would be my older sister, Gwen. Mm -hmm. She would drag me there, and we would definitely be there together. And if Gwen is there, my brother, Juan, is there. And if Juan is there, Shannon is there. So, it's going to be us four in the airport together, and we're not coming home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's we, really that's, we'll be bicker between each other. And we'll be, but when it comes down to it, we can all count on each other. So yeah. we would be there in the airport together. Now, how much progress we will get? Right. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's up in there. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, so uh, Jimmy would just have to find a new wife, I guess. You know, like and my kids probably could I care less whether stuck, I came home. If you were stuck, Jimmy would rescue you. Yeah. Like, I, I think that my my best bet would be to be stay at yeah, the airport. Just stay at just the airport. Stay Jimmy there. would rescue you. <laughs> Jimmy would get me. I think you're right on that one. I, I honestly think that you're right. Um, but I can just see, like, if if it was in a reality situation where it was Jesse and Tharuna and and um, Chevy Chase um, there, then have you seen that YouTube video um, with with a guy um, that's lighting the uh, firecracker and uh, Terry's in a wheelchair and he can't no, I and he can't it. move? Okay. Well, there is it. It's funny, not because the guy's in the wheelchair, but it's funny because the guy who is videotaping it, they light the the firecracker, and the guy says, "Move Terry," <laughs> and Terry's Terry can't move his his. Oh, I have okay, seen that. Okay. Yeah, they're in the, the middle of the like, street. And he's like, "Oh, Lord. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that would be that would probably be the other person that I have that is a real person that." And I looked up his name, and I couldn't find his name, and his name is Wu. Uh, on YouTube, who actually was like the commentator of it, he would be with us and he would be commentating like, "Law, I can't run." <laughs> Save yourself. It's okay. I would like he would be on our team just to just I to be a totally commentator. Watch this. I would totally watch <laughs> just to be the commentator would, of like, does does Kara actually get home? I would watch this. I would definitely watch it. I, it would be a mess. I feel like, like like both of my teams would be strong for different reasons mm -hmm. because like my sister Gwen is a natural born leader. And when she gets with all four of us, she feels like she's the mother and she's gonna be pointing out, hey, you go here, you go here, you go here. Yeah. My sister Shannon is a natural born, like, I'm gonna do my own thing because, but here's the thing about my sister Shannon. If we're trying to get home to our loved ones, mm -hmm. that means her daughters are not there and she's gonna do whatever it takes to get home to them. So yeah. she's a fighter. She's gonna get home to those girls. And if you're on her team, you, she's gonna drag you home to those right. girls. So right. that's why. And then my brother, he's the, the 
the weapons expert of the family, like uh -huh. the second weapon. Of the, so if there's a weapon to be used, he's going to find it and he's going to get a shot at it. Got so, you. So I think I got a pretty you strong. You do have a pretty good strong thing. Oh, well, and now if we were, if I was in my first scenario, I would be like, Kara Rambo, like I would, you know, I would <laughs> just all be, head, you and, don't need to be exactly, <laughs> exactly. I would just be like in charge and have everything together and and got it all going on. But because I always tell my daughter, I was like, if you ever go backpacking in South America or anywhere like that by yourself and you don't come home, then you can expect me to be there like strapped and just like, I'm going to get your nation? body. I'm going to get your carcass. <laughs> I'm going to bring it home. Yeah. yeah. Nobody wants to mess with this mama. <laughs> that's, and that's, and that's in my head. It's a great mentality. That's it a is great a mentality. great mentality. And I think that's, that's my sister. I think like if there's, we could do it, you and her daughters, she will go through you to get to her daughters yes. and no problem. That's like, the way I feel so. in my head. But in reality, it is a total Chevy Chase drive around in circles wind up at the wrong at it's the wrong be place funny, though. yes it's it be would funny. be a mess. and i would watch that one. yes <laughs> and my and my daughter would just be strapped up to a tree and i would yeah and just like mom is never coming that would be that would be our reality so what ashlyn i love you i really do but yeah you know your mama okay so who would you have on your team? Who would help you get home to your family? Um, let us know. Let us know why they would be there. Um, and this is actually kind of a, a fun situation yeah, to is. put yourself in. And I have to really go through a lot of people to yeah. be like, okay, this person would be good here. This person would be good here. And I probably offend it. Would probably offend some people, but I don't care. I'm trying yeah. to make it home. So. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, you guys have a, have a happy 4th of July and be safe out there if you're shooting off fireworks and or watching exactly. fireworks and thank the Lord for America and, there you go. and for um, the, the freedoms that we have. So let's just... Uh, be good to each other, love each other, and be kind to each other. And enjoy your long weekend. Enjoy your long weekend. Till next week. Bye bye.